so Tony, uh, you've been a long time Google Cloud partner from Servian. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about Servian and what you guys do? Sure. So we're the largest professional services company in Australia that focuses on data and data-related activities. So we're about 420 people at the moment with uh, offices in most of the major capitals, and we've got an uh, offshore capability in Bangalore as well. Um, we're growing rapidly, um, looking to expand uh, into New Zealand in the next uh, month, and in the UK in about two or three months from now. With that rapid expansion, like. You know, one of the things that we constantly hear from customers is there's, you know, a shortage of skills gaps. And I would assume that that's, you know, very apparent in the areas that you specialize. So how are you continuing to grow as quickly as you are? Like kind of what's been the strategy around that? Three things. One, try and hire the right type of people because you can't. Mm. Um, you can't make people more naturally adept at IT, and that's fundamentally what we hire on. Have a really good structure around training and enabling into the latest, greatest. Mm -hmm. uh, again, hiring the right people means you can transition them into new technologies uh, really, really quickly. And the third is have a focus on what the client wants. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so we sort of train all of our consultants in, in that regard. Uh, and, and Google's been really, really great for us that way. What trends are you seeing from your customers here in the Australian market? Do we go one cloud, do we go multiple clouds, or should we strategically always have the mindset that um, new features will come out from each of the cloud providers that seem interesting, uh, and we want to keep some cost tension in there? Our clients are going down different routes, but more and more of them are going into that last camp where they want to be able to have the flexibility strategically for the future to uh, deal with um, the best concepts that exist in those cloud providers and a price point that works for them. If you were to forward project, Tony, um, about the, the Servian business, let's say two or three years out, yep. uh, where do you see Servian going and, and what do you think your biggest challenges would be? Yeah, so currently we're in about 40 of the $170 billion companies in Australia and I think I have about 120 clients active at any one, one month. Now, what we want to do is, yes, we traditionally played at the upper end of town and so we see ourselves geographically expanding mm -hmm. on that limit in, in the place I've talked about. But also we want to go to that next tier of companies, um, you know, that um, corporate side mm -hmm. and, and um, really push them onto that cloud journey. For tier one to go on a cloud journey, it is a multi-year journey. Mm -hmm. For tier three, actually it's not. And um, for our consultants, being able to genuinely help a company move from here to here in a meaningful time frame. Um, that's actually quite cathartic and it puts a smile on everyone's faces. Mm. Uh, and even though we've talked about business as a consultancy, a big part of it is, are the consultants happy? Are they doing things that they think is meaningful? And, and, and for us, focusing a little bit more on how do we make Google not just great at the top end of town, but in the, in, in the corporate side is a focus. <laughs>